Hello, today we're gonna make a little upgrade uh, to a brand new laptop. The model is uh, Acer Nitro 5. Uh, the, this particular one comes only with a regular hard drive, so we're gonna install a MV uh, SSD drive. So let's start. The first thing, of course, we have to remove the the cover for the RAM memory after that we'll remove the hard drive the regular one there is uh, four screws which hold the drive just lift it and disconnect it because uh, the, the connector is with a flat cable so you have to be careful about it like this <clears throat> now we have to take down all the screws so let's start the design of the laptop is really nice but uh, I don't know why they don't uh, put a separate uh, service call for the M2 drive because this is basically the most useful slot in all the laptop pretty much all the customers which buy this laptop uh, prefer to add a faster hard drive so it's a little bit a stupid decision but most of the manufacturers they do it the same all the screws here are the same size so you shouldn't be worried about damaging something Like this <clears throat> now we have to be very careful because actually this is a brand new machine and we don't want to leave any scratches or marks on it so in uh, some of my videos uh, people are saying why it took me five minutes to remove a back cover or something well even one of the viewers says uh, he have a 10 hour sleep during my seven minute video so different people but you know we don't have to rush so we have to separate the plastic here you just choose a spot and start with something sharp because we have to take down the back cover You can use a guitar pick or a phone card, whatever is whatever you have. The plastic is nice, it comes easy. So you can use your finger and nail if you like. just don't don't hurry take your time this model comes with a i5 cpu and with a geforce uh, 1050 the clean version not the ti version uh, the laptop supports mva hard drives so you can upgrade with uh, whatever disk you like we'll install We'll install an A data drive, but I'll show you as soon as I can separate this thing here.
like this on this side is okay let's see here be careful with the side here where is the cooling there is a plastic clips so you have to be a little more careful with them not to damage something now just lift just let me check is everything okay yeah Like this, a little bit on the side. Like this. <clears throat> Even the laptop, although the laptop is new, I always check the hinges, just tighten the screws like this. Uh, that's the M2 slot. It's a 2280 size. The good thing here is that the laptop comes with a screw, so you don't have to be worried about the size. Uh, I'm gonna write you the size of the screw. Basically, you can use any screw from an old hard drive or something like that. The first thing we, before we connect the hard drive, I'm gonna disconnect the battery just in case uh, in our case we're gonna add a a data xps xpg sorry s hix uh, 6000 drive which is pretty decent like speed so it comes with a with a cooler actually which is pretty nice So we'll just gonna install it. Like this. Uh, let me take the other screwdriver, sorry. Just put the hard drive back and put the screw. The laptop have a decent cooling. It has uh, two fans and a separate pipe. That's the CPU here and that's the, the GPU chip. On the other model, the Helios one, uh, the coolers are on both sides and some say it's better. But that's what Acer decides to do so basically that's the whole procedure right now I'm gonna put back the battery don't forget to connect it after that like this and we're gonna put the back cover on the on the reverse just first push this side here and after that just start from the back like this uh, now we're gonna put back the hard drive 
sometimes uh, if you try to power on the laptop right now probably it won't boot it will just power on but uh, with no picture uh, don't be afraid because uh, there is a little switch here so after you put this cover back it the laptop will uh, will power on so don't be afraid if something doesn't power on just put everything back and like this we're gonna put the hard drive back the regular one <coughs> Like this normally uh, if you're upgrading uh, a laptop which is already installed you can clone your operation system but uh, there is a little catch because uh, probably you have uh, Windows 10 installed on the on the laptop on the laptop. Uh, not all the programs can clone um, the UEFI partitions. So basically, I can recommend you to use a AOM backupper program, which can clone only the operation system without any problems when you when you start the booting program it will tell you that the the hard drive partition is a different uh, different type on the source disk and the destination disk after that it will ask you do you want the program to fix that thing and uh, she reformat the SSD drive for a wafer partition, which is uh, GPT, not uh, uh, MBR partition. So you can use the, that program. The best way, of course, is to to make a clean install. But since a lot of the people have already installed their operation system, it's you can just clone the drive. Also, the program have uh, an option to align the drive when you're cloning to SSD, which is better for the performance of the of the disk. Right now, we're gonna put all the screws back. <clears throat> we're gonna power on the laptop to see is the disk recognized correctly. The laptop supports up to one terabyte SSD, so you can put Samsung, Crucial, or whatever brand you like. Now, let's plug the adapter. Let's double check is everything okay here. Yeah. We'll power on the laptop. And we'll see uh, is the SSD recognized? Uh, yeah, it says NVMA here on the BIOS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We'll try to install Windows 10, so we'll see is everything recognized correctly. We're just gonna start the installation. I won't keep you longer, just to see is the SSD recognized. 
Mm, why doesn't see the flash drive? Let's see in the BIOS again. Yeah, you can see the, that the drive is uh, recognized correctly. So basically, the thing right now is I gotta install the. Yeah. We'll start the installation and see is everything all right with the drive yeah we're gonna boot from the from the file drive it should take us probably a minute or two Now that's the partition for the regular drive. It has um, some sort of uh, Linux distribution. I recommend you delete all the all the partitions since the the regular drive will be left like a storage. Delete absolutely everything, and you can leave the this drive like this. Because if you if you choose the, the, the regular drive and after that uh, create new partition, it will create you also the system partitions of Windows 10. So the thing I recommend you is just uh, select the SSD drive, uh, tap new, after that apply, and the Windows will tell you that uh, to work correctly it will create additional partitions on the system. Just choose OK and leave the regular disk like this. After installing Windows 10, go to uh, to the device manager and uh, manually create the second drive because right now if i click next uh, new see the windows is want to make the same system partitions on the regular drive so it's better to to leave this like uh, unlocated space install the windows uh, you know the standard way and after that just uh, create manually the second drive basically that's the whole procedure i hope you like it uh, like and subscribe if you do i hope it uh, helps somebody so that's for me now bye bye